virus is spreading. Raccoon City doesn't have long. Government forces have already entered the area. We need to cover our tracks. No one can know Umbrella was involved. Commence Operation Raccoon City. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City is a third-person shooter with a lot of problems. And that's a shame given the possibilities. You're a member of Umbrella Security Services' Wolf Pack. You face opposing agents with up to three others in the infamous Raccoon City, where the T-Virus has turned the population into voracious zombies. From this new perspective, you see famed events from Resident Evil 2 from a brand new perspective, and fight off zombies in familiar locations. And some of these areas are legitimately atmospheric. Too bad the game is so poorly lit that it's hard to notice the subtle details. Eventually, excitement over a new kind of Resident Evil turns to disappointment when you discover how much is truly wrong with this game. Consider the cover system, a basic component of Raccoon City. Here, you don't need to press a button to take cover. Instead, you automatically stick. And so you rub against a shelf and stick to it by accident, or fail to press against a wall that doesn't let you take cover for some unknown reason. You may seek to pop out and take pot shots, but instead slide around the corner. The shooting model is functional at least, each weapon handling more or less as you'd expect it to. There's little joy to the shooting, however, because the weapons don't feel particularly powerful. Some enemies don't react to your shots, and many of them are sponges that soak up countless bullets. It takes seemingly forever for certain enemies to die, which turns combat into a slog. The tedium is made worse by the scarcity of ammo, which means you often have to go searching for bullets when you'd rather be shooting. Out of ammo. Raccoon City could have looked to Left 4 Dead for inspiration on how to handle ammo, but this game goes out of its way to do things differently. But most of the time, being different comes at the cost of fun. For example, you can't tumble out of danger, but you can sprint forward and belly flop. You go running for an herb so you can heal, but might leap on top of it rather than consume it. You have to shoot the locks off of special weapon containers before you collect the gun within. Perhaps this was meant to deliver some tension, but it just feels like a waste of time and ammo. And so it goes in Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, where imperfect concepts are imperfectly executed. If you play with AI teammates, make sure to stay alive. They are incapable of reviving you should you fall. Actually, the AI is stupid across the board, running into fires and generally acting like lunatics. Glitches intrude. A teammate might clip into the ground so that you can't revive him. You might go to revive someone, but if there's a lot of junk on the ground nearby, you might need to dance around until the revive button prompt appears. Then there's an early battle against a mutated William Birkin in which the game breaks its own rules, puts up invisible walls, and pulls off other ridiculous stunts in an effort to be cinematic. There are glimmers of entertainment here, though. Picking off one zombie after another in a series of headshots is a hoot. Freeing a teammate from the grasp of a licker's snapping tongue instills a sense of camaraderie. And brutal melee kills are fun to watch, even if the melee system itself is clumsy and overpowered. These brief but enjoyable moments also occur in Raccoon City's competitive modes, though the problems also come along for the ride, too. Here, human players join the undead in their relentless quest to murder you. Planting a mine and blowing multiple opponents to smithereens is a fun time, as is the mad dash towards a rescue helicopter in the survival mode. The persistent leveling system has you earning experience and unlocking new guns and special skills like incendiary ammo. But spend your experience wisely and grab a high-powered pistol. Combined with Raccoon City's quick-draw auto-aim, you can easily mow down the opposition. So much for that heavy machine gun. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City tries to be like Left 4 Dead, but has none of the tension or excitement. You could return to the four or five hour campaign with buddies to seek out collectibles, but 
Why would you? The game just isn't that much fun, so there's not much reason to keep going back.